Hi, I'm Dr. Sarah Ruiz, and today we want to help individuals get a better understanding of what the difference is between hypoglycemia and hyperglycemia. The goal is to keep your blood sugar level in a target range, not too high, but not too low. When blood glucose gets too high, that's called hyperglycemia. Some problems that can occur because of hyperglycemia are damage to your eyes, kidneys, nerves, and blood vessels. When blood sugar is too high, the body produces ketones. Ketones occur when the body is unable to use carbohydrates for energy, causing it to break down the body's fat. This causes an acid imbalance, which must be corrected, or it will result in diabetic ketoacidosis, DKA. Maintaining blood sugars in a normal range can help to keep the body from producing ketones. When blood sugar levels are above 250 or when sick, an individual with diabetes should check for ketones by urinating on a ketone strip. I have an example of some ketone strips here, and you can use these to check from purple to beige to check for high to trace to no amounts of ketones. It's important to follow your doctor's plan when moderate or high ketones are found. So how can you bring down higher blood sugar levels? It's important to know your medical management plan from your doctor or provider to determine when to give insulin or take medication. Perform physical activities such as walking unless moderate or high ketones are present, drink water and stay properly hydrated, and contact your medical provider. If blood sugar levels get too low, it's called hypoglycemia. Hypoglycemia can create problems such as confusion, feeling shaky, sweaty, being hungry, pale skin color, irritability, or quick mood changes. When a person with diabetes has a hypo event and can eat or drink, use the rule of 15. Important things to know about the rule of 15 is to always check the blood sugar level to make sure that it's less than 70. Give 15 to 20 grams of fast-acting carbohydrates such as four glucose tablets that are here or a tub of glucose gel or half a cup of juice or five lifesavers. Then recheck the blood sugar level in 15 minutes. If it is still less than 70, repeat the steps above until the blood sugar level is greater than 70 again. Here's how you can help someone with hypoglycemia. Put the person in a position safe from falling. Assist them to check their blood sugar level. Help them do the rule of 15 and to eat and drink. In some emergency situations, individuals may be prescribed glucagon. Glucagon is an emergency medication that allows for the liver to release a backup supply of sugar into the body. There are multiple methods of administering glucagon, as you can either inject or inhale it. It should be used in emergency situations when an individual is unable to speak or swallow. For your safety or for that of a loved one with diabetes, the following can be helpful. Know your medical management plan. Learn to identify symptoms of hypo and hyperglycemia. Carry emergency treatment options like medication, fast-acting carbohydrates, and glucagon. Carry a diabetes identification card, bracelet, and list of medications with you, such as in your wallet. Speak with someone you know about your medical management plan so that they can help you in case of an emergency. For more tips on managing diabetes, I encourage you to visit diabetesnowwhat.org. And don't forget to like and subscribe.